I think you give Ball State all the credit. You know, they came in here, they, they played really well. Um, 33, Mariah just put the team on her back. Um, you know, they had to fight through a lot of stuff with their point guard going down with that ankle injury and uh, come back from that. So I, I think you just give them a lot of credit. I thought we were a, a little flat, which is unexplainable to me. And we talked about that uh, at, at the end of the game with our team. But um, credit goes to them. They came in here, they played very well. You know, we, we got off to a bad start, fought back, which I liked. Uh, I just don't think we had enough gas in our tank. Well, we just we felt like we were getting shots that we wanted to get and uh, shots that we were capable of making and the right people taking them in the right spots and the, the ball just wasn't going in. Uh, defensively, I, we were disappointed in our ball screen defense, especially in transition. I, I thought once we cleaned that up, we felt confident that the ball would start going in in, in the basket for us, and it did. Um, and we just, again, you know, we, we spent a lot of energy trying to claw our way back into it, and then, you know, the... I just think we ran out of gas. Yeah, I, I hope um, I hope we raise some money. You know, the um, the whole thing is it's about giving money to research for people that are way smarter than I that can hopefully solve this this crazy thing. You know, that that affects so many people. And um, you know, it's a big day for women's basketball. Or anytime these kind of games are played, to play for K and the um, K Yao Fund to raise money for them. Uh, some 5.4 million was the last uh, number I saw in terms of money raised to get people to just keep digging and trying to find a way, you know, to, you know, if we can't quite cure it yet, how do we, how do we make people's lives better uh, while dealing with it? And uh, I hope we played a part in that. You know, she's a, she's just a really complete player. She gives us she, she's really predictable, which is what I like. You know what you're going to get from Najee every time on the floor. And uh, we ask her a lot. We ask a lot of her. We ask her to just make every shot she takes. And we usually ask her to defend one of the better players on the other team. So that's a double, um, it's a double sword for her. And she just says, OK, I got it. And she does the best she can. Uh, every second on the floor, you know exactly what you're going to get. So predictability is what I like most about Najee. Yeah, win the next one. That's what that's what we're telling them. Win the next one, and every one of them is meaningful. Every one of them will uh, alter the seating in the MAC tournament uh, for the positive or negative. Uh, I, I still think that there's a chance there, there's a buy out there that's still available. Uh, I think about five teams have a chance to get, and it, it's it's going to be fun. It's going to come down to this last three weeks of the season, and for us, five games because we only have five left. But every single one of them will be a, a battle and a complete, um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a complete challenge for us. And every game will be a different challenge in a different way. And uh, I think this team is capable of stepping up.